In 2019, there was a total lunar eclipse. Astronomers took advantage of the phenomenon and used NASA's Hubble Space Telescope to detect the ozone, or Earth's sunscreen, in our atmosphere. Although Hubble did not directly look at Earth, instead, Hubble used the tracked sunlight that passed through the Earth's atmosphere and bounced off the surface of the Moon. Astronomers essentially used our natural satellite as a mirror to simulate the process of observing potential biosignatures of exoplanets while searching for alien life beyond our world. Using a space telescope like Hubble in this instance for eclipse observations imitates the conditions in which future telescopes would measure atmospheres of transiting exoplanets. What is so crucial about these atmospheres is that they could contain chemicals of interest to astrobiologists as they study and search for life and therefore they are defined as biosignatures. Numerous observations have previously been done for lunar eclipses to reproduce alien biosignatures, but before this they have all been ground-based. Therefore, this event was simply one of a kind. As this was the first time it was captured at ultraviolet wavelengths and from a space telescope, Earth truly became the first Earth-like exoplanet, according to Hubble. And as expected, Hubble detected a strong presence of ozone, or the gas that absorbs sunlight and serves as a protective shield in Earth's atmosphere. This is why, according to astrobiologists, ozone is key to life. On Earth, photosynthesis is responsible for our planet's high oxygen levels and thick ozone layer over billions of years. And it is one of the reasons why scientists think ozone or oxygen could be a sign of life on another planet. To learn more about exoplanets and the search for life, head on over to Spacetv.net for all the latest news. For Space TV News, I'm Mia Bell Frothingham.